Hey, we're back with another video today. Uh, YouTube, we got uh, a video on Radio DJ. This is going to be a quick video because uh, I get a lot of questions on this video. And uh, I just did a conference with somebody and uh, they asked me to uh, maybe make a quick video about this. This is going to be very simple. It's going to be very basic. Uh, it's going back and it's referencing from the uh, first video of the Radio DJ with the um, basics. Um, in that video, I showed you how to add music to the program uh, via a big folder. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the music again uh, using a folder or uh, adding music individually and then also showing you how to edit your tracks. So put the cue points like an intro and an outro into it and uh, a starting point and an ending point where the song should end. I'll go through some of those features. So like I said, it's going to be a quick video, but it's going to be very informative for you uh, so that you can move around your music and categorize it. I'll also show you too and I'll touch base on how to set up your own subcategories too in uh, Radio DJ, which is going to be pretty cool. So if you haven't really noticed, uh, this is what the Radio DJ program looks like. It uh, is it's, it's, it's an amazing uh, software, uh, free automation software program for us uh, people that want to run uh, internet radio stations or uh, even if you have like a restaurant or something you could use this program to uh, just automate the music in the background for um, for whatever uh, event that it may be so like radio DJ is obviously uh, a very powerful piece of software but um, it seems to have a lot of people uh, stumped on how to uh, set things up. So if you hang tight with me, we'll just get right into the screenshot here and get right into Radio DJ. So when you open up Radio DJ, uh, it'll be completely blank and you have to add music to it after you've set up MySQL and, and stuff like that. So uh, clicking on Track Manager is going to open up a, a new window, uh, the Track Manager window where all the music is stored into Radio DJ. I've just uh, added some new music to the Power 92 FM main computer. So what I'm going to do in this uh, video is I'm going to add the same music to uh, on the road computer. So uh, let's go to import and then we're going to do an entire folder. I'll show you how to do that and then uh, I'll show you how to like do an individual track too as well. So uh, in track folder you click on it. It's going to take you to this new window here and it's going to give you a bunch of options. In this window, what you want to do if you're going to import an entire folder is you want to click the folder button up here. And then uh, it's going to ask you where it wants to pull the music from. So in my case, I know it's on my hard drive, so I'm just going to click on the hard drive and open that up. No, see, I did that wrong. It's going to want to do my entire hard drive at once, and I don't want to do that. So um, I'm just going to open up my hard drive again and get that Pacific folder that I want open. So I'm just looking for that folder and it's going to be under Power Music or Power 92 FM. And then we're looking for um, new Power Music. And now everybody can uh, store their music any which way they want to. Um, there's just a, a madness behind everybody's master plan and that it only works for you as the user used and do the ways that, you know, uh, make sense for you. Uh, so once you found the folder that you want, uh, click on it, highlight it, and then hit OK. And that's going to take you into back to the uh, direct uh, directory import um, uh, window here. Uh, what you want to do is um, just, for my case, I know I want to put it in the top 40 section. So uh, I'm going to click on top 40 where the subcategories are. If it was, for instance, a jingle or jingles or something, you can change the uh, categories from up here. Uh, I'm going to get into more depth in a few minutes about how to set up your own uh, subcategory. Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave it at that uh, genre of music. I mean, you can label it whatever you want. I usually just leave it at acapella because, uh, I mean, it, it just, there, like I said, there's a master plan behind everybody's madness. So once you've done that and you're, you've got the folder that you're uh, wanting to upload to um, Radio DJ, all you have to do is hit import directory. And that's going to take a couple minutes and it's going to go through a process and it's going to start finding the songs. Now, like I said in the first video, you might want to make sure that you don't move your uh, music around once you've... Uh, loaded it to Radio DJ. So for instance, if you got your music on your hard drive on your computer, make sure that you do not move the music from your hard drive onto an external hard drive and get rid of it off your computer. Because if you do this, that is going to um, 
a radio DJ is not going to know where to take the music from. And that's where the uh, MySQL comes into uh, into play. So now that uh, we've got uh, the music that's uploaded into uh, our top 40 subcategory, I can hit the close button. And if I go up to here in categories and then hit music and then go down here in the subcategories top 40, that's all the music I just loaded to uh, Radio DJ. Now, um, I'll show you real quick on how to import one track at a time because there was a question about how to do that. So if you click up onto the import button up there again and then hit the, um, here I'll exit all this out so we can do it quickly here again. So track manager and then import and then track. And it's gonna bring up that uh, a different window than what you're used to seeing. This is more or less the window that looks like the, uh, the editor window. Um, to add music through here, you're going to click on the plus button, and it's going to take you. <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to take you to uh, where you want to add music. Uh, it's where you can locate your files from there. So, if I wanted to add, for instance, uh, "New City," uh, "Dirty Secrets," I would just um, highlight it and then hit open, and it'll take you to <clears throat> back to this window where you can now edit these tracks individually if you wanted to. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for instance, if I wanted to change the, uh, the um, like the title or change things around or add something in here like the album, the cover art, or you know, the gear, the BPM, like I can add all that information in there. Uh, and then of course, uh, if you wanted to, you know, um, introduce uh, sweepers to the uh, track. So like if you add an intro, and if you uh, drop, let's say, uh, this, if you put this um, jingle in here, every time this song plays, this jingle will play over top of the intro. That's how I understand how this works. Uh, I don't really use it like that, but I, I mean, I could because it, it, it I mean, it's, it's all about user preference, right? It's all about how you want your radio station to sound. I suggest playing with all the, the features that it has for you to, you know, that's the, that's the only way that you can really learn out of it. So to cue the um, the track up to make sure it has an intro, um, what you want to do, so this is adding like intros and the hooks and uh, like an ending point or a beginning point that you want the song to start. Uh, what you want to do is hit the uh, cue editor. It's going to open up a new window that's going to show you the uh, waveform, which is actually quite cool because it gives you kind of a, an idea of what the track looks like and how it's broken down in a in, in its ways. So you can uh, make it bigger by just, you know, moving this like this. You can, you know, zoom right into it if you want to. Um, to set an intro, it's very, it's very easy. What you want to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the intro that's already in here and then I'll just re-add this intro because it's it's really easy to do. To do this is what you want to do is you want to make sure that the start button is clicked and you want to hit the play button. When you hit this play button, after you hit, and hit the play button, I'm going to hit the intro button. And then once I hear the part of the song where I want the uh, the cue point to be, I'm going to click the arrow down. That's going to add in a, add in a new marker in there, which was that, that intro marker. So the idea of this uh, intro is that uh, so that when you're doing uh, an announcement on, on air in between each songs, you know that you have uh, about 15 to 8 seconds long um, of a, a space in, the, in between the song there that nobody's singing so that you can, you know, say what you got to say and then as soon as you finish saying, it'll get right into the song without missing that beat every time and it, actually it'll count down on the uh, display for you too as well. So. Uh, Okay, so let's get into this. So let's hit the uh, start button and then hit the play button. Now I'm gonna hit the intro button now. And as soon as I hear the artist start singing, I'm gonna hit that arrow button. She's been here for the weekend. So that's perfect there. So like, uh, if I needed to make an adjustment to that where it's like not on or I've accidentally hit the button just after he started singing, it'd be really easy to fix that. What you wanna do is you wanna hit the play button. Don't click on the start button. If you click on the whatever button you're clicked on and if you hit the play button, this is where the track is going to start in this window for you. So it's, you know, just to give you a, uh, an easy uh, tip there. So if you just make sure it's hit intro and if you hit play, 
So I'm really close to where it needs to be, but it could probably be milliseconds a little bit more closer to uh, this side here where I can get it before he starts singing. So to do that is these little arrows down here. This will bring the track going this way, and this will bring the track going this way, your cue marker. So I want to add, I want to click on this probably a couple times and bring that cue marker just a little bit closer to this waveform here where it's got a higher peak because I'm pretty sure that's where he's going to start singing. So let's just click on that, move that closer. So it was just one click. And to preview that, let's just hit the play button. She's been here. So it's pretty much on. We're going to give it one more click. She's been here. She's, she's, she's been here for so now it's pretty much on. She, 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 so that's good, and that's that's what you ideally want to do. If you were going to do like a loop in and a loop out, you would just say, uh, do the same process over and over um, to each each one. Just make sure it's highlighted, and then hit this um, this button here where it's uh, add selected marker, um, and that's going to put your cue points in there. When you're done doing all your cue points, you want to make sure that you have this window here clicked off with the check mark with the waveform. Uh, because it, what it's doing is it's going to save all of this into a separate file um, that only Radio DJ is going to recognize. It will show up in your folder of music, but it's um, basically if Radio DJ ever crashed where you lost all your music and if you had to reload everything in there, all you would really have to do is just open up this queue editor window again and then click on add um, applied settings. So which means is this here. Um, once you do that, everything is all set back in there and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, redoing everything because I've gone through that process a few times and it's not fun when you've got hundreds of thousands of songs to go through every time and add all these intros. I mean, you don't have to add these intros, but these intros are more or less going to help you out to make your station sound professional, if you know what I mean. I got a couple, I've got another track in here that, um, that needs to uh, put an intro in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this because this track is already added to uh, uh, this. So going back into music and top 40 to the folder that we just uh, loaded into Radio DJ. Uh, these songs here are new. Um, which one? This one here. Let's let's do this one. You can either double click on the track. This is in your track manager uh, window, by the way. Double click on the track to open up that edit window or you can right click and it'll open up uh, a menu of options that you can do. What we want to do is we want to open up the uh, edit track. So um, going forward, I want to make sure all the titles and tags are in the correct spot, which see, for some reason it, uh, is, for some reason it wants to add like featured stuff. You know, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of anal the way I like my music stored. So I just kind of uh, right click on that. I'm going to hit cut and then I'm going to paste it up here so that that information is up there with the artist information and then the song title is in where the song title should be. So I'm going to hit up that Q button, that Q editor button. See in this one here you've noticed that there is no editing done to this. Um, so what I want to do is I want to hit start and then I want to hit the play button. And I'm going to go over to this intro button, click on that. And once this artist starts singing, I'm going to hit this button here. Another one. Another one. See now, I kind of, I kind of don't like the way that song started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to change the start cue where the track is actually going to start playing. I'm going to change that, and I'm going to put it about here at the beginning where this beat is. So make sure it's highlighted. Click the play button, and we're going to kick this uh, arrow button now. So I missed it a bit, so I'm going to go back. And it's just going to take a couple minutes for you to, you know, get to, to the point where you want it to be. Uh, and that's as easy as it is. So uh, let's get that. Uh, there's not very much of an intro in here because DJ Cali he starts doing the uh, number one, you know, the thing that he does. So... Uh, I'm not really going to add an intro, but I want it to start right there because uh, that's a good point of the track to start to bring in that beat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that's checked off and then I'm going to click the save button. 
And it's that easy. It, it really is that easy. But it's once you've been shown a few times that you can actually uh, understand um, how to do this. And if you play around with this program more and more, you'll be able to do a lot of things that you didn't think were possible. Clicking the Save button, that's going to completely save it all into the uh, system. And then uh, that's how you edit your cue points and add loops and intros. Just the same process. I'm going to close this off and I'm going to show you real quickly on how to add subcategories to Radio DJ, so your own categories. So going forward, what you want to do is you want to click Options and then hit uh, Categories. And then into there, you want to make sure you got your music um, category marked. You can even make your own uh, categories. So yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit in this program. Uh, music, and then over here, say I want to make a, a folder that's um, uh, just hip hop music. I'm going to write hip hop, right? And then hit that plus button, and it's going to put it in this down here. It's that easy. You can add your own genres, whatever. I mean, you can make everything um, is customizable to your to your liking. Hit OK. And then once you go into the, the categories here of, let's say, music, and if I click down here, oh, look, there's the hip hop. And you could start moving music into there. So if you wanted to move uh, tracks into there, I'll show you how to do that real quick here before we take off. Go back to Track Manager. And then you want to open up your music window, right? And then find a track that you want to move into the uh, hip hop section. So let's say this track here, I'm going to highlight it, right click, hit the Q edit or the edit track. It's going to open up that window again. Sorry, it's a little slow because I'm doing a webcast too as well at the same time. So. Okay, so now this is where you can uh, change where you want your music. So if I want this 702 track to move to uh, the hip hop track, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that subcategory uh, drop down menu and it's going to show me all my different uh, subcategories. So I see hip hop, boom, right there. And then if I hit save, it's going to move that track right into the hip hop section. So if I go into the hip hop, so that's Radio DJ in a nutshell on how to add tracks to the Radio DJ program. I know it's not, uh, it's really not that big of a deal of rocket science to do it, but like I said, you got to just play around with this, the features in, in the program. Don't be shy to click on buttons and see what they do. And um, that's the only real way that you're really going to um, learn how to do it. You got any more um, ideas on videos on, uh, what I should talk about or what I should show you, please message me, uh, DJ Dr. J at power92fm.ca, or you can uh, message me right here on uh, YouTube. Put a comment down here if you'd like. Uh, don't forget, like that video, this video, share it too as well. I mean, it is pretty informative. There is a Facebook page on Facebook about uh, Radio DJ too as well. Look that up. I'm also part of that group. So if you've got any questions, you can just ask them over that and somebody will get in touch with you. And of course, um, if you uh, need any extra help too as well, I'm here. Uh, I charge a small little fee, $25 for half an hour, $50 for an hour. Uh, and I do it over Skype. Plus I do it over um, Team Viewer too as well so that I can actually go into your computer and, and, and show you how to you know add things and do this, that, and this, that. And I also do, uh, do coaching too as well to help you uh, build your radio station. So if you have any questions or concerns about that, you know you can always hit me up. Facebook at uh, DJ Dr. J or uh, email me DJ Dr. J at power92fm.ca and uh, please subscribe to the videos, share them and um, thanks for watching. We got more for you. So happy Canada Day long weekend, 50 years, 150 years.